Hello everyone, John Dale here. Today I'm here to talk to you about ethical decision making in art and art therapy. My original plan for this painting was something highlighting the head and the heart of the human figure while confronted with ethical choices. When thinking of the three modes of ethical thinking that Bruce Moon wrote about in his book Ethical Issues in Art Therapy, they are named as follows, deontological, antinomian, and teleological. Now this may sound like I'm reading stereo instructions to some of you, so let me sum them up in the most simple way I can, using role player character alignment systems. Just for reference, I'll be putting the three alignments into the good category, as I feel your intentions through art and or art therapy would be good, or at least I'd hope so anyway. Deontological is basically the ethical choice to follow all the rules and laws that are laid out to a T, or in the format of character alignment, it'd be lawful good. Antinomian is the opposite of that, meaning you base your choices on a whim, completely unprincipled and not following the laws set in place for therapists. The word literally means against a law, so for character alignment, it would be chaotic good. Teleological is the middle ground. You take into account all your choices and feelings before moving forward. You can choose to follow the rules of the lawful good, or you can interpret and compromise the rules for what you believe to be right. So teleological would be neutral good. So now that we've covered that, going into this art piece, I was asked to create my own personal code of ethics for art therapy by creating a piece of art that will hang on the wall of my practice. So as I mentioned earlier, I set forth to create something highlighting the head and the heart. As with all ethical decisions, I will be using both of those key areas to make my choices. I feel the lawful good alignment would act mainly using their head. They'd weigh out all possibilities for their choices and decide what path to take, following the rules set in place for therapists in their area of the world or when just talking about art in general, they would follow the guidelines already set out and tested by others. That doesn't mean they are bad artists, they could paint the most beautiful landscapes in the world, but they wouldn't push any boundaries, they'd stay where it is safe. On the opposite side, the chaotic good alignment would likely just use their heart and impulses when confronted with ethical choices to make, going forward with gut feelings rather than rational thought. This could be dangerous for several reasons, but it could also pave the way for new therapeutic methods or art styles. Sometimes you have to be brave and just go for it to make a real difference. I'd consider artists like Andy Warhol or a lot of street artists, such as Banksy, to be along these lines. Then there is the middle ground, which if you haven't guessed already, is where I find myself. Weighing out feelings and rational thoughts before making most decisions regarding ethical choices. Sometimes it'll feel right and make sense to stay within the lines, sometimes it won't. And sometimes it won't feel right in any way, and you'll be forced to dig deep and really ponder what actions should be taken. Ethical choices in art therapy can be extremely important and bring into question lawful codes regarding confidentiality, which can be difficult to say the least, and is why it's a problem I feel I couldn't solve while ignoring my thoughts or emotions. The process of this art piece was made to help signify exactly that, to put my thoughts and feelings on the subject into an art form. It proved to be a lot more difficult than I imagined. I often deal with a love-hate relationship while creating an art piece, but this one was fierce. It didn't help that I decided to venture out of my comfort zone and add color to the painting. This was a decision I weighed out for a long while, but ultimately decided to go for it, mainly due to the fact that my black paint markers were all dried out. So instead of buying more, I decided to make myself uncomfortable, and I'm sure it shows. I feel it projected onto the canvas as I was painting, as what was supposed to be a more light and cheery art piece exploring my ethical alignment became fairly dark and somewhat disturbing looking. My main struggle was trying to figure out how to draw the figure's head without a face and not have it look like something out of a horror film. While trying to figure out that aspect, I let my feelings go and started pouring ink on the canvas for a drip effect, not even thinking of how dark it would make the overall look and feel of the painting. Once I calmed down from my overindulgence, I was able to somewhat save the painting and brighten it up again. Although, this final piece raises an ethical question in itself. As it turned out a lot more dark and ominous than planned, would it be ethical or appropriate to hang in an art therapy office? It could easily trigger something for a client giving a feeling not intended, or it could not even be noticed at all. What are your thoughts and how does this painting make you feel? And do you have an ethical code you follow as an artist or art therapist? Let me know in the comments below. I'm John Dale and I'll catch you next time. Happy arting everyone.